I'm going to design a revolved part using some key points and these key points I want to use not just to design the part but as key measurement points for a QA process after the manufacturing is done. So I've started by with a sketch that I've labeled coordinate points and in this sketch I've got these points placed. Now these points could have come in from another program, they could have been scanned in. Uh, in this case I've placed them using coordinate measurement systems. So these are the points that I'm going to use to define the uh, profile of this part and I'm also going to use it to uh, do quality assurance. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a little more information to this and I'm going to do that by going up here into the annotation section and clicking on datum target. I'm going to label these as data points and you can see we can make them uh, targets with labels or just points and that's what I want here we can also choose the type of point we're gonna put in so I'll just go and click on each of these and it's gonna place that annotation that we're gonna use later on to help uh, our QA team uh, identify key points so I'll hit check to exit the sketch and hit finish Notice I'm in the ordered environment here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a revolved protrusion. Now I could make a new sketch uh, to define the profile of the revolved protrusion or I could go right into the command and I'm going to pick my plane here and now using my sketch tools I'm going to connect the dots and, and use these points to define the uh, the profile. Now some of these points might indicate where uh, profiles end. Some of them may just be on the profile so I'll use things like um, sketch relationships to position this point onto any point on this line to ensure that this line stays constrained to that. Some points might also be you know centers of arc so I'll draw an arc in here using this as my center point. Oops. There we go. Start the circle command and draw that out. Now I can also dimension this any way that I want. In this case I'm going to place a dimension here. I actually want to define the radius so before I place this dimension I'll just reach up here and change that to radius and then key in whatever I want as my radius. I'll jump over to the line command using my radial menu and continue drawing this profile. Now I'm letting these overlap because I'll then use my trim command and I can just kind of cut around in there and trim away uh, parts I don't want. The last thing I'm going to use is the offset command and I'm just going to offset this whole chain by half an inch and then connect the endpoints to complete my profile. In a revolved protrusion you also want to make sure that you identify the center axis and that's this command right here, the axis of revolution. You have to do that before you exit the profile step. So when I hit the check mark now it's going to know to rotate about that point. And I'll go up here and change it to a 360 degree revolve. Okay, so now we've got the part as well as those data points. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, we can create section views uh, and drawing views in the draft environment, but we can also create a lot of that manufacturing data right here in the 3D environment. And that's got a number of benefits. One of them is that um, we can we can put a lot more input and we can work directly with that manufacturing data in a 3D environment. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my PMI tab because that's got all the info that I need in here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section view right here in the 3D environment. And I'll just follow the steps after clicking on this command. I'll select a plane to draw my section view and then I'll use the line command and just draw a simple line down the middle of this to show that I want to cut through the center. After that it's a matter of picking which side I'm going to remove the material from and the extent of my cut. I'll cut through all and get my cursor position so it cuts both sides. Okay, other things we can put um, in a uh, PMI view, we can do things like callouts and dimensions. Uh, we can also reuse data that we already put into sketches. So to do that I'm going to use the copy PMI command and I'll just hit that here and then it's going to ask me which sketch I want to derive this info from. So I'll click on this sketch and it brings up all the data that's hiding in that sketch. I'm going to go and select all of that and when I hit check mark it's going to bring that data in to our PMI. So you see all those annotations, those datum points have showed up as well as the dimensions. So with these in PMI I can now work with these in 3D uh, to define my manufacturing data.